Hey everyone, this is Alex with Web Hosting Canada, and today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to install WordPress with one click using the App Center in your Web Hosting Canada shared account. So, we're right here in the WHC client area, and just as a quick note, there is a shortcut to the App Center that you can use from here, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go through cPanel, so we can click on cPanel, and that opens a new tab, and there's a lot of power and a lot of options here in cPanel, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to go right to the one-click apps installer under popular tools, and there's a bunch of different scripts that Softaculous, the one, the uh, apps installer can install, but for the purpose of this, we just need WordPress. So if you hover over top of WordPress, a few options will come up and you can click right on install and that'll take us straight to the installation uh, settings page. So we always want the latest version of WordPress, which is currently version 5.3. And uh, one important choice that you need to make is between HTTP and HTTPS protocol. Uh, we always recommend using HTTPS protocol when possible and Web Hosting Canada offers free HTTPS certificates on their Web Hosting Pro shared hosting plans and greater. So if you, are, if you are on one of those plans, it's highly recommended that you go with HTTPS. As for the www, uh, that's really an aesthetic decision, so you can use it with www or without. I'm going to select without, and that's all for that section. For the title, the site name, and the site description, those really aren't that important for now. I'm just going to leave them as they are. You can set them as you like. Uh, for the option Enable Multi-Site, uh, a multi-site is a different type of WordPress installation which is more complex and potentially more problematic because of that. So for the purpose of this, uh, for, of this tutorial, just leave that box unchecked. We may cover multi-site in more detail in a future tutorial, but for the purposes of this, uh, we're just going for a regular WordPress installation, so make sure that that box is not checked. For my admin username, I'll call myself Alex, the admin. And for the admin password, you can either use the one that's generated here, you can highlight it, copy and paste it, and then hide it, or you can get rid of this password and create one of your own, which is what I'm going to do. And make sure that you use an active email for your admin email. And choose your preferred language. I'm going to go with English. And uh, we don't really recommend using any of these uh, any of these plugins. Uh, Loginizer is kind of a basic security plugin that limits the number of attempts that you can use that you can make to log into your website. However, that's a service that Web Hosting Canada provides at the server level, so it's not something that you really need to worry about. Classic editor is the classic WordPress editor. Um, I believe that the current WordPress editor is superior, so unless that's something that you really like and prefer, then it's probably not worth installing. And WP Central is a, uh, is a plugin used for managing multiple installations of WordPress. So unless that's something that you're familiar with and something that you use regularly, you probably don't want to install it. Now, under advanced options, there's some things that we can change, but I'm gonna recommend that we leave this as it is, leave database name as it is, table prefix can stay the same. Um, for auto upgrades, now you can leave it off, but what we recommend is that you upgrade to minor versions only, and this means that uh, small upgrades such, a, such as security upgrades uh, will happen automatically, but full version upgrades, which may potentially have conflicts with plugins on your site or themes, will be left for you to handle manually so that you can be there to take care of any conflicts that may arise. So that's why we recommend upgrade to minor versions only. And for uh, up auto upgrade plugins and themes, we recommend leaving these boxes unchecked as well because uh, these update auto upgrading plugins and themes can lead to a lot of conflicts and can potentially lead to problems. 
So it's generally a good practice to leave those boxes unchecked and do your plugin and theme updates manually unless you really don't have the time. As for uh, the back, the automated backups, uh, for backup location, automated backups, and backup rotation, leave that as it is. Web Hosting Canada provides uh, automated daily backups on all of their hosting plans using a separate service. So uh, setting this up would just be an unnecessary redundancy that would slow your WordPress site down uh, without need. And the last option that we have here is you can select a theme to install. However, as the note says, if you don't select the theme, the default theme will be installed. So I'm just going to leave that and go with the default theme. And you can also put an extra email down here to email the installation details to. Uh, I don't really recommend doing that because it's, uh, email is not a super safe way to be sending your login information around. So uh, unless you really need to send the information to someone else, then it's generally best to leave that blank. So now we've set everything up, we just need to go ahead and click on Install. And we've got the message, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. And it's also provided uh, links to both the website and the admin access uh, page for the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the admin link. And it actually opened the website and automatically logged me in. So here we are at the WordPress dashboard. and. All I'm going to need to do from here to view the website is go ahead and click on my blog in the upper left hand corner. And there we are. We have a brand new WordPress website created by Alex the Admin. So that is how you install WordPress with one click using Softaculous on your Web Hosting Canada shared account. If you have any questions, I really encourage you to reach out to us in the comments. Uh, we'd be very happy to help you with those. And please do uh, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned to this channel. We've got lots of great tutorials planned to help you along your web hosting journey. And we really look forward to going on that path with you.